Hi, hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then hi, my name's Zoe, please subscribe, please join my little family that I have here on YouTube. I post videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays and Sundays and Saturdays and Sundays are primarily true crime videos. So today I would usually post a serial killer Sunday but I am not doing that today. I really wanted to cover this case because it is kind of a fresh case and there's a lot on the internet at the moment flying around about this case so I just wanted to cover it and get it out there but Serial Killer Sundays will be back to usual next week so next Sunday I will be posting another Serial Killer video so today if you haven't seen on the internet already we are going to be talking about the case of Alicia McPhail so Alicia McPhail was born on the 22nd of October in 2011 she was a sweet innocent beautiful little girl. She had gorgeous long blonde hair and she was always smiling. She lived with her mother Georgia in Erdre and she would often visit her father every now and then. It wasn't a court order thing, there was nothing set in stone. So in July 2018 Alicia was spending the summer holidays with her father Robert McPhail and also her grandparents in the town of Rovisay in Isle of Brute. I think I'm saying that correct, I do apologise if I'm not. She was looking forward to this holiday, she really enjoyed spending the holidays with her father and she couldn't wait to see her father as well because obviously she hadn't seen him in quite a while. So on July 1st 2018, Alicia's father puts her to bed, um, she's very tired and this is around 10.30pm and she'd had a fun day so she went to bed quite easily and then over the next two hours the rest of the family members go to bed and the last person to go to bed is her grandmother and this was around 12 30 a.m so in the early hours of the 2nd of january 2018 at around 1 40 a.m alicia's father gets numerous missed calls from 16 year old aaron campbell it's believed that in the past alicia's father did used to sell cannabis to Aaron Campbell and I'm not sure how true that is um, but that is something that is stated online. So at 6am Alicia's grandfather gets up to check on her and then he realises she's not in her bed so he frantically looks around the house, he's searching everywhere trying to find Alicia. So at 6.23am Alicia's grandmother rings the police to report her missing and then a search in the local area is started to look for Alicia. Unfortunately at 8.54am Alicia's body was found in the woodland grounds of Carl's Hydropathic Hotel. I believe this hotel was disused, it was abandoned at the time of Alicia being found. And unfortunately six year old Alicia was pronounced dead at the scene. It was later determined in an autopsy that Alicia died from pressure to her face and neck. So on that same day, for some unknown reason, Aaron Campbell sends a Snapchat to his friends and this Snapchat basically, say, is, basically says, I found who did it and he is half naked on this Snapchat on the video. I'm not too sure why or why he did that. That put a bit of suspicion into the police's minds. In the early hours of the 3rd of July 2018, Aaron Campbell had googled how do police collect DNA. He had then viewed a web page that was basically describing how the police view and collect DNA samples. This was obviously a big red flag for police so the next day they arrested Aaron Campbell on suspicion of abduction, rape and murder and then they charged him the next day. So on the 6th of July 2018 Aaron Campbell appeared at Greenock Sheriff Court but he decided to make no plea. On the 8th of July the community comes together and holds a vigil for Alicia. They light candles for her in, in Rovacy's Gilded Square. This was a beautiful evening for Alicia and it's lovely to see how a community pulls together and shows her support for such a sweet little girl. Her funeral was held at Courtbridge and everybody who attended wore pink. The family intended for the funeral just to be as bright as Alicia was. She was really a bright girl and she loved the colour pink. 
they also tied pink bows to the railings and also left cuddly toys outside for her. And also on the 24th of July, Alicia's family posted a YouTube video of Alicia to YouTube because one of Alicia's dreams was to be a YouTube star. She was absolutely obsessed with YouTube. So if I can find the video or maybe a clip, I'll try and insert it here. Hey guys, it's Alicia and today I'm going to show you all about pasta. So first of all, pasta is a food. Everyone knows that. And pasta is now made all over the world. But yeah. I'm going to show you some of the pages because I'm not sure about the pages. This is the last one and these are all the vegetables you can put in pasta. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and a thumbs down. Don't you forget to subscribe. Bye. <laughs> they just wanted to make a YouTube dream come true. So Aaron Campbell's trial date was set for the 11th of February of this year and he appeared at Glasgow Crown Court. So during the trial, he did try to pin the blame on Alicia's father's partner and her name was Tony McCloughlin. I think that's how you pronounce her surname. He claimed that Tony had had sex with him that night and then planted his semen DNA into Alicia's underwear. But this was proven as lies in court. She was proven not to be guilty. During the trial, police have described what they think happened to Alicia on that night. Aaron is believed to have kidnapped Alicia from her bed. He used a knife, obviously, to scare her and get her to go with him. He then carried her to the woodlands near the abandoned hotel. And this is where he started to undress her. And then he killed her by applying pressure to her face, her neck and her nose and mouth and he strangled her to death. It was also discovered in the trial that Aaron had a sick obsession with horror films, horror games and also Slenderman. He used to play the Slenderman video games as well. So they believe this was a possible influence for the murder. So on the 21st of February 2009, Aaron Campbell is found guilty of abducting, raping and murdering Alicia McPhail. Sadly, Alicia was only six years old when she died. So Aaron Campbell did have a YouTube channel. He intended to be YouTube famous doing trampoline videos. I can guarantee he's YouTube famous now from looking at the channel. I hope YouTube takes it down. But he is famous for all the wrong reasons. Through this case, up until literally the past few days, we didn't know Aaron Campbell's name. Because he was 16 years old, he was considered as a manor but yet he can play horror video games he could go to the army he can buy play the lottery and buy scratch cards but he can't be named because he's a manor so i am so glad that the court decided to name him because he deserves to be named and shamed for what he's done he deserves to have his name out there for what he's done so at the moment I don't think there's any, at the time of me filming this anyway, I don't think there's any sentencing been announced as of yet. I will update in the comments as soon as that's been announced, so I'm not too sure what he's going to get in prison. I'm assuming he's going to get a life sentence for what he's done, because he totally deserves to rot in prison. I'm sorry, that's my opinion. If you don't like my opinion, then I think you're a bit wrong yourself, but you know, because... This six year old girl was so so innocent, so beautiful and she lost, lost her life at, and she lost her life at the hands of a 16 year old boy who just didn't give any disregard for anybody else. He only cared about himself. I'm sorry but that is the truth. So if there is any more information I will update below and I do apologise for this video being so short but obviously but obviously the case is so so fresh so at the moment we don't have a lot of information we only have what the police have 
told us and what bits we found out from the trial so I'm so sorry about that. If there is a chance for me to do an update video and we do find out more information I shall do that but I'm not too sure when that will happen. So thank you for watching today's video. Thank you for listening to Alicia's story and the whole tragedy around her death. It's so, so horrible. But I just had to film this and get this out there because I think people need to know about this case and need to know about the despicable things that he did to her. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe. Please give it a big thumbs up. And I shall see you on Monday. Thank you. Bye.